Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, Home Assistant Hardwired Part 5 Electricity Meter. In this video, I'm gonna be using this electricity meter. It comes with core sensor, so you just push your live wire from your equipment which you want to measure the energy usage. Uh, don't push neutral and live because you wouldn't have the reading, just the live, or if you can't use the live, you can use neutral. So let's go down. It's a wiring diagram. So life and neutral. The same life and neutral for your measuring equipment. Uh, this is the terminals for R bus RF485. You got as well uh, pulse output. So you can connect to one of the digital inputs. So you can count the pulses. And this is the core sensor output. This is a Modbus map. So I will start from voltage. You can read, you can't write. And basically starting address, it's two. All the addresses on this one, it's in hex as well. So you have to use hex to decimal converter. And we will read two registers because it's four bytes. So that means each each register can contain maximum of two bytes. So we need to read two registers. So let's go to node red. I will start. Let me drop debug node first. One plus read. You need ID one is the fault right. input registers address two quantity two oh I forgot okay so we're basically reading two registers, so we got two values. Basically, this is a float value in converted into two separate values. So to convert back into the float value, we can either way use a function node with piece of JavaScript code or, as usual, use our buffer parser code node. So just float B multiplier one, we don't need to do anything else. And there you go, it's our float value. Why it's done like this? Uh, I was thinking before why they didn't multiply the value first and just use 16 bit integer. But as you know, maximum of the 16 bit integer is just over 65,000. So we could max multiply maximum by 100 and get maximum of two decimal spaces if we do integer 16 bit integer. So the best thing for electricity meter usage because we want to get the maximum um, precision it's to use float 32 bit float so that's why it's done like this so i already prepped the flow <coughs> for all those various data from the meter so um, Let me make so we got voltage, frequency, current, active power, apparent power, reactive power, and power factor. 
So we're reading seven different values. All of them, it's four bytes. So every single one is a float value. So we got starting register two, quantity 14. Because each va if each of that value is two registers. So and then as I show you, float everywhere. So let me try. And we got all the values. Let me do it again, maybe. Voltage, frequency, active po uh, current, active power, apparent power, reactive power, power factor. Same. This one start from 352. 12 registers. Let me bring this table. They all four bytes except the, ten, the number 10, the reserve. So same thing. Let me clear it. And then again, we got all the data. Now this one. I need to do another one. So here we got serial number, four registers, manufacturer code, four registers, type code, two registers, uh, sorry, four bytes, four bytes, two bytes, so one register, and all of them, all the rest are the same, only integers. So we can try serial number, manufacturer. It's ASCII, I'll show you it later on as well. This one actually, I'm not sure how to read this one. Same hardware version and software version. I just put in Taga. Let me clear it again. Reference voltage, reference current. Okay, one more thing. Um, in here, SO1 output. So, this pulse output you can set. So, if you want, each out each pulse will be count as one kilowatt hour, or each out each pulse will be count as 0 0.01 kilowatt hour or 0 0.01 kilowatt hour. So you can set those values different way. This one is default, so each pulse means it was used one kilowatt hour. Pulse width. So default is 200 millisecond, but you can have 60 or 100. This one. This is, I think this is the one. No. Yeah. So number two. It's on the different page. I, I didn't, didn't, didn't put this one. Wait a second. Let me create another one. So default is number two. 200 milliseconds. Then active measurement type. You can set different different types as well. And then Modbus ID, baud rate, and network parity. So let me clear it again. So this is the device CD, baud rate, and the parity. 
parity no parity okay so i think last thing in this video we will try as this okay one more thing why i didn't put all of them together i separated because this one start address it's 352 this one start address 2 so we will basically have to put instead of 14th we will have to put like 370 so we can't really do like this because it will probably lose the, the connection if you try to read so many registers as one as in one go it will be very very difficult to read them plus probably most of them will be empty so it more than likely will lose the connection to your device so basically if you if if they come in one row then you can do that but if you've got a big gap forget it just use another note so this one i didn't put this one because i just want to show you one thing let me use buff parser okay multiple fan out okay first one was 32 bit integer add one more let me bring the so first one first one was 32 bit integer second one manufacturer code and they give a hint to use as ascii third one as i says i'm not sure same the hardware and software version i just use 16 bit integer and then all the rest was 16 bit integer as well so let's go to here this one is the second one ascii add one more and there you go okay we're supposed to read first value four bytes so two registers second value four bytes two registers third value only two bytes one register and okay first one second one four bytes offset but then when i copy when i click add as the type ascii come with default one with offset one one it shows five so what we have to do we have to add so it's eight because this one is four bytes this one is four bytes so this one must be offset eight so again change this one to say in taga add one more and it should be doing correct now so we got one more one more time we got we got this one done this one done this one done this one done then we need one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven unless i make a mistake New back clear and okay this is a serial number manufacturer code and all the rest okay so i think this is this is all for today's video i hope you enjoy and see you in next video